Welcome to Get That GED with me, Dr. Robin McKillop. Today, we're gonna to do a probability question. The setup is we've got six coins in our pocket, three dimes, two nickels, one penny. What is the probability that we reach in, pull two coins, and we have 11 cents, which would be one dime, one penny. So two coins, 11 cents, one dime, one penny. All right, so we know we have six coins. That's going to be the number at the bottom of our fraction or ratio. Let's say we pull a dime first, which means we've got three out of six shots of pulling a dime. So that's gonna be three over six or one half. We have a 0.5 probability of pulling a dime. And our second coin in the same handful is a penny. That means the penny, there's only five coins left because there's already a dime in our hand, right? So we use five as the bottom of the ratio and we can only pull one penny because there's only one. And now we add the two of these together. Excuse me, we multiply these two together. So this is your penny. This is your dime. One fifth times one half equals one tenth. And before we go on, I'm gonna do it as if, I'm gonna do it the opposite way. What if we pull the penny first, then the dime? So the penny first would be one out of six because there's only one penny to six coins. And the dime at that point, again, we've moved the penny. So there are five coins left in the bottom of our pocket and there are three dimes. So we have a three in five chance of pulling a dime. That means we're gonna do the same thing we did before. We're just gonna multiply these two ratios and we get three over 30, which reduces to 110, one over 10. So no matter whether we pull the dime first or the penny first, we still have a one in 10 chance for either one. The last step we're gonna do, because we're talking about two different things coming out of this pocket, we are gonna add these two fractions together or these two ratios. So 110 plus 110 equals two tenths, which reduces to one fifth. This means we have a one in five chance of pulling a dime and a penny at the same time out of six coins. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out. You can comment under this post and you can contact me at support at getthatged.com. Talk to you soon.